is up you guys this is mini superheroes today hey guys today we're gonna take a look at the punisher minifig made by jack of brick this is based off of john barenthal's punisher from the marvel netflix shows now of course they're on disney plus and maybe someday he'll join the mcu again so let's get into the review thanks to jack of brick for sending this but of course all thoughts are my own so we get this very cool collector card. It's kind of like tin material, and you can see all of their disclaimers on the back. And I got number two of five out of two, two, two ever made. The minifigure itself is pretty cool, although there are a couple of decisions I'm not so sold on myself. So the legs, torso, head, arms, all that, those are all official Lego parts and pieces. He does have a custom pistol in this hand. It looks really good. And he has a custom hair piece up top, which is kind of my first head scratcher. I mean, it does look good because the Punisher has like the shaved sides of his hair. But if you lift it up, it just looks kind of funny without the hair piece on. And I don't know, it just doesn't quite work for me. It doesn't look enough like an actual Lego minifigure. It definitely, you know, screams that it's a custom. And I don't know, that just isn't it for me. I don't love it, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. We get some alternate heads and we'll look at those in just a minute. But as we move down to the torso, you can see we've got the Punisher skull on there. Got a little printing on the back. One interesting choice is that the arms are actually printed with like the skin on there. So they're black arms with the skin printed, but short sleeved arms exist on the Ethan Hunt minifigure from Lego Dimensions. Now I'm sure that would have driven the cost up to like source that figure, but I don't really love the way the custom arm looks when there's a perfectly suitable version that exists in Lego, but the legs look really good with the boots on the bottom. You know, the printing goes the whole way around. So pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those alternate heads now. Here we have like a screaming head where he's got like blood all over his face, a black eye. It definitely looks really good and looks like a Lego adapted version of something straight out of the show. We also get this head with a goatee and some, you know, scars on the face. And then we also have a mask on the other side with some like American flag looking printing on the outskirts of it. Honestly, I don't remember this mask from the show at all. So I don't know. I honestly don't even really remember him having a goatee like this either. So if you guys know, drop it in the comments, but I'm kind of at a loss. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think of this figure down in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the description to go follow Jack of Brick over on Instagram so you don't miss any of their future releases, and I'll catch you guys next time. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.